Hey guys, welcome back to Ellie and Adarja, and today we are unboxing the mechanical backlit gaming keyboard from Kmart. So this was $39 at my Kmart, $40, right? And this isn't my first time opening it, because I got a little sneak peek. So this is not going to be a first time unboxing, but it is going to be an unboxing. So you peel those off, you... Put these down, then you pull it up, pull it up, and then open. So here it is, I'll show you it next to my old keyboard. So we have keyboard in plastic, so when you get it out, it also has the key, it also has has the cord attached to it so it's really weird taking it out because the plastic armrest keycap puller and how the hell are you okay Jesus okay then we got that so then we got the sleeve I'm um, not sleeve the um, arm rest with tape. Get the tape off. Okay, arm rest made of plastic. Keycap puller where you just pull the keycaps. Oh, thank you. So let's get this packaging out of the way. So, get that out of the way, and then we'll do the tests. Okay, the keyboard. Get the, all the plastic off. Okay, you may have already just heard it, but this is without light. And, sorry if you can hear people in the background. So it would be, I am not typing anything legitly, L legitly. And then the switches are blue, blue switches. So actually, I'm going to assume that this is up. Let me put it back in. Yep. Okay, and I will show you, but this is like not a good armrest. Made of plastic. And I will see how the keycap puller is. Okay, so I put the armrest on, or wrist rest, whatever you want to call it, and um, yeah, it, it's not good. Also, it does have two stands at the back, so you can stand it up. But let me get this wrist press off. Okay, guys, I will try to do the bend test. Very stable. Try the keycap puller. Yep, works. Really nice. And then, my question is how, how do you take it off the key? Yeah, I think you pull it off, take the key off, and then put it back in just by itself. Okay, time for the light. I'm just going to clap my hands for the light. So, this next bit is going to be voiceovered. Because the audio just, like, we lost the audio file. So, this is all the color modes. First, got to turn my light off so you can see it better because they're very dim. And this is me testing the sound, but you can't hear it. Sorry about that. But you just got to go with the flow. 
So I'm changing, trying to figure out what changes the color or changes the mode. So let's skip this. Okay, so I figured it out. I have to read the manual, but it's F N and then I N S one. And you have to press them at the same time or that's the first one, so it's just that same colour. But then you do it again for the second one, and this is my favourite by far. Look how cool that is. It is so sick. Like I was really happy to for this one because it's so cool. So I'll just go to the next one. Okay, so here's the next one. Whoa! Going in zigzags. Filling it up. Yeah, I don't really like this one. But if this one was a person, it would be the first, second one's less successful and liked brother. It's so random. Like, why? Why is it beating? And then it, like... It's the randomest thing ever. So let's just skip to the next one. Okay, so this is number four. It's just pulsing or waving. Not really that cool. Let's go to the next one. Number five. Again, really random, but better, I would say, than number two. It's just there. And then last one is off. So I'm like, what? What happened to it? What? Why? Why did it turn off? And then I panicked. But then I realized, oh, it's off. I tried pressing it again, and it fixed it. So then I'm like, oh, I am so dumb. It turns it off. And then I'm like, what? What happened? Oh my god giving me a heart attack and then I went back to this mode because you know who it is it's the best I was going to show you guys the sound but the mic didn't work so we're just going to skip over this bit okay and now time for the cinematic shot or b-roll whatever you want to call it because who wouldn't want one when there's lights involved so I have to edit this right now but I'll see you when it's finished and it looks epic. Okay guys, so I hope you liked that video, and if you did and you want to see more from me, more reviews and unboxings, just comment down below what you want, like me, what Pokemon cards I should open, not like the rare ones, because I don't have money, and like, or just tech like mouses, keyboards, mouse pads, LEDs, yeah, like that stuff. So comment that in, down in the description below, and also if you liked the video, just like it press the like button because it helps me and it doesn't hurt you and also if you like it subscribe put notifications on you don't have to but i would prefer that for me <laughs> and subscribe because i'm nearly at 80 subscribers when i hit that i'm going to do something big big as in a big picture i've already done it but i might do something different and i'll show it as well because my 70 artwork is teeny tiny. So we'll do that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hopefully we can hit 80 subs before the end of this week.